The biggest lesson I ever learned about forgiveness is that you can't go around condemning people for what they've done. I don't care what they've done to you. I don't care if it was molestation, they divorced you, they cheated on you, they raped you, they did whatever. You can't go about your life asking repeatedly like, how could they do this? I hope that they get their karma. You can't go and judge somebody for what it is that they've done wrong because when you try to judge somebody and try to figure out what where their mind was what they were thinking you've got to physically put yourself in their body in their shoes and make assumptions about their own behavior that ultimately get ingrained into your behavior so you think because you're the victim that you're better than the person that attacked you and so you go about condemning their behavior in your mind and in certain ways you begin to manifest your own negative behaviors you just think that you're better than them because you didn't hurt nobody but who are you really hurting do you have kids that you're neglecting and and treating unfairly because of the fact that you're so stuck on the past and what happened um, are you angry at your own parents for their own shortcomings and now you're so stuck in the cycle of what's wrong with them that you're not really looking at yourself and seeing how their effectors, but their behavior is affecting the way that you show up to the world. And so at the same time that you're mad at them for letting you down, who are you letting down in your life by being fixated and stuck on the past? Because the past is the past. It's, it's truly irrelevant. You think it's relevant because you still have an emotional response to it. But that's what meditation is for. How can you change your karma today so that you're not stuck in this cycle of who shot John and whatever, whatever? Because I'm going to tell you what, there is no right and there is no wrong. Karma is simply about balance. And you got to find your own internal balance when it comes down to you coping with the things that have happened in your life. That's what emotional control is for. Emotional control means that, yeah, something negative happened to me, but at the same time, I'm going to control the way that I react and I'm going to get through my stormy season because I want to flourish in my life and learn whatever you need to learn. Why did God put you through that? You'll never know if you're always talking about who shot John. Okay, that's it. I hope that y'all enjoyed that. Tune in.